all right people welcome back to the channel so today we're gonna be making some el pollo gustada which is the spanish version of stew chicken so for the seasonings we're gonna be using sazon we're gonna be using the ham concentrate for the green beans for the yellow rice we're making that from scratch so that's why we got the turmeric we got our herb blend we also gonna be using tony saturated creole seasoning we're gonna be using black pepper some granulated chicken bouillon cubes, a couple of bay leaves, and some garlic powder. And for the vegetables, we're gonna be using three small red potatoes and also some carrots. So, so for the sofrito, you can either buy a store bought or you can make your own. If you wanna make your own sofrito, all you need is one small bell pepper, an onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, and then you're gonna be using um, some cilantro to give it color. All right, so we have our chicken right here. It's been washed and pat dry. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our seasonings on there. All right, so we're gonna use two tablespoons or three tablespoons of um, tonic saturated seasoning. We got our herb blend, so we're gonna use about two tablespoons of that. And then we're gonna use one packet of the Saison Goya packet to start off with. All right, so you're gonna take a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and coat the bottom of the pan. Next, we're gonna cut up a small onion and we're gonna throw in our green beans. After we have our green beans placed into the pot, we're going to take that ham concentrate seasoning and we're going to go ahead and put that in the green beans. All right, so now we're going to take our sofrito and throw that in there. We're going to let that come up to temperature and then we're going to saute that for about two to three minutes until your veggies become fragrant. All right, so now that your sofrito has been sauteing for about two to three minutes, what you're going to do is you're going to take your chicken and you're going to place it in a large um, Dutch oven. Once you have all your chicken in the pot, you're going to go ahead and saute that on each side for about 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make our yellow rice. So we're going to take 2 to 3 tablespoons of butter. We're going to let that melt down in the pot. And then, since we already have sofrito made, we're gonna go ahead and take one or two tablespoons of sofrito and let that saute up. Once everything is sauteed up, and then we're gonna throw our white rice, one cup of white rice, into the pot. So while you're waiting for your butter to melt down, you're gonna go ahead and check on your chicken. You're gonna flip the chicken and then you're gonna let that saute for another five to ten minutes on the second side Okay, so the sofrito has been sauteing for about two to three minutes. I do my rice in a pot. I only did one cup of rice. Um, so what I like to do is, is I like to toast the rice up for a little bit. Now make sure that you constantly stir this until you put the water in there. You put one more tablespoon of butter and then you're gonna go ahead and fill two cups of water up in the rice. Okay, so this is my favorite part. Now it's time to make our rice yellow. So we're gonna take two tablespoons of turmeric, we're gonna take two tablespoons of herb blend, and then we're gonna take two tablespoons of the tonic saturates, as well as one tablespoon of chicken bouillon cubes granulated. We're gonna go ahead and give that a stir, and then we're gonna cover and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. All right, y'all, so look at that. You see, we got our chicken up in there, it's rolling. It got a nice little color to it. Got the sofrito rolling up in there, the garlic, 
the onions, the bell peppers. We got the cilantro. We got all kind of stuff moving up in that pot. Y'all can't tell me that y'all y'all don't want a piece of this. Come on now. All right, yeah. So now I'm removing the chicken. We're gonna put that chicken to the side, and then we're gonna take our vegetables and we're gonna saute that up for about 10 to 15 minutes before we go ahead and add the chicken bouillon cubes in the water. Somebody might be saying to themselves, now why is she using chicken bouillon cubes if she cooking chicken? Well, duh, you know, you wanna make sure that when you adding water to any type of mixture, it's gonna dilute it. So that's why I'm using the chicken bouillon cubes to just bring that flavor out. I mean, unless you want some bland food, you can just go ahead and just add water. Don't put no chicken bouillon cubes. Uh, don't even use. Matter of fact, you know what? Just go ahead and throw out that little slurry you see at the bottom of the pot. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all. But yeah, you know, if y'all don't want to use the chicken bouillon cubes, you don't have to use that. That's just my personal preference. So that's what I'm using. Come on, more seasoning, baby. You got to make sure that you season every part of your dish. Come on, get the components. Get it together. Get it together. All right, so we're going to check on our yellow rice. All right, so that's almost done. Go ahead and make sure you fluff your rice, sis. All right, so that yellow rice is done. We're going to go ahead and put that to the side. We got our better than bouillon chicken concentrate. All right, so we're going to put two spoons of that up in there. All right, so after we finish incorporating the better than bouillon chicken base, we're gonna go ahead and start adding our water in there. Okay, so here you can see that I added about four cups of water, and I also used two spoons of the Goya Sofrito tomato base. Again, this is something that's not really, you know, that you have to add, but I like the way it tastes, so that's why I put it up in this dish. All right, so now we adding our second round of seasoning. We're going to put some garlic powder up in there, some mold, um, tony saturates, another saison Goya pack, and then we're going to add our chicken back to the pack. Okay, so now that we have our chicken added back to the pot, the only thing left to do is wait for the chicken to get done. Um, I also added some green olives. That's real traditional in most of the Spanish dishes. You'll see green olives in them. Okay, so we're gonna let this continue to cook until the chicken is done, and then I'll bring y'all back.
All right, y'all, so everything is finally done. We have our yellow rice made from scratch. We have our green beans and we have our El Pollo Gosada, which is yellow rice and stew chicken. You can throw the olives in there or you can take them out. You know, I like my olives too. We're gonna go ahead and keep that up and down. But yay, I hope y'all like this video. Y'all already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you wanna see any more dishes, Spanish dishes, whatever dish you, you wanna see. Just let me know, hit me up in the comments.